Welcome to Vlogmas Day. Is it five, Ben? Five. Day five. Wow. That kind of snuck up on me. For some reason, I drew a complete blank there for a second. Day five. Sorry about yesterday being so short and terse. My back was just really killing me. It's actually still killing me, but it doesn't get to win, so there. Oh, well. Ben and I are out again in the car running our errands. We just got done at the Kroger and we're back over to the pharmacy again. And wanted to pop up and tell you hi while I had a chance to talk. We finished our Christmas decorating. All we got to do is clean up the areas around it where we left tape sitting and... Bug. Yeah, it's, it's random crap everywhere. You know what it's like when you decorate for Christmas. I've got ornament hooks all over the house and I don't even know how that happened. Wolfie, oh my gosh, Wolfie broke a Christmas tree ornament last night. And mom hit him with the broom. Mom hit him with the broom. I was sweeping it up and he was still barreling around like I don't know what. So I took my broom and I popped him on top of the noggin and I called him a bad boy. And I feel really guilty. But it'll keep him out of the tree. And he could have been hurt because that was a class ball. And I still feel really bad. I really do. Hey, I didn't hit him hard, did I, Ben? That's right. That Yelp he did was more of a surprise than anything. I just went pop right on top of his head. And he just goes, yay! And I felt this big, sincerely. I really did. But I don't want him knocking the tree down. He needs to learn to stay out of stuff. And he's hard-headed in more ways than one. He'll Today, live. Today, he hasn't even been over to snip the ornaments yet, so that's good. He's not afraid of it. He's more afraid that I'll have a hissy fit on him. And he's right. Anyway, I get to start wrapping packages tonight if I can get my back to cooperate. And if not, she'll force it to. I might have to because it's getting late. It's already the 5th. I have to have everything wrapped definitely by the 18th, but I don't know. I don't know how it's going to happen. I have a friend, Shannon. Actually, she's my niece by marriage. Shannon, hello. Hi, family. Yo. Love you guys. Um, and she just posted on her Facebook the other day that she usually has a third or a quarter of her wrapping done by now, and she's way behind. And I know other people were laughing at her, but I feel it. I understand the pressure. When you can't just say, okay, I'm going to go in my room and wrap for 12 hours or whatever. It's an issue. It is. And you don't want to not do it because then it doesn't even look like you put any effort into the gift. And besides, I really love to wrap packages. It's my favorite thing to do over the holidays. And she can be fiendish with them at times. Who, me? Yeah. Like you have what? been you have been known to use some really ridiculously difficult to tear open wrapping paper. Pair it with all kinds of tape, wrap it up and basically mummify the darn things. Once or twice. I personally like the names I put on the front of the packages for the boys. What, like Kissy Fur? Like Kissy Fur and Bend Over. And Smack Mom. Or sometimes I'll put Moose and Squirrel. Ben Squirrel, by the way. Chris is definitely Moose. That's definitely going to get Mom shot one of these days. Not with a gun or anything. But with one of these. Does it shoot me with a can? Yeah. I don't even want to know how that would work. I oh, trust me. You don't want to know. I'll find a way to make it work. Anyway. Oh, I wow. See. That stinks. We're driving by Liberty Casting on Liberty Road, and it smells like Band-Aids really, really badly. Why do you think we call it the Band-Aid factory? <laughs> yeah, we do. It's actually a plastics place, but oh, it smells like Oh, we're passing by the Delco we stopped at during a whiteout one time. Yeah, we had to go into that Delco one time during a whiteout just because we couldn't see where we were driving. And we needed to get off the road for a few. And I got a can in the back of my head. And I got a can of Monster from it. We took pictures. By the time the whiteout was over, and it only lasted for about 10 minutes, the whole of that drive through was dusted with snow. It looked post-apocalyptic. It was really kind of cool. But anyway, tonight's homemade pizza night. Woo -woo. We had to go get some 
We actually had to go over to the Kroger to get the pepperoni pizza cake. Yep, because I'm cheating and using Chef ID, but I'm still making it at home, so don't judge me. Uh, Mom, that's the dictionary definition of homemade. Making it at home. Is making it at home. Who cares where you get the parts from? Well, you know, usually it would be yeast and flour and blah, blah, blah. Do we look Amish? I know how to do that. I do that. But tonight I'm doing the cheater way because I just don't feel like being bothered with it. But the way we do it, I raise the dough and then I punch the dough back down and raise it again on the sheets. It's a, <laughs> it's a big deal. She abuses it. I abuse it. I beat that dough to heck. But it she makes beats it really till hell will have it. I will say, Chef Boyardee, of all the pizza mixes and the, uh, the crust mixes you can get, they have the best dough if you do it right. And what pizza sauce doesn't get used, I sometimes end up drinking. He does. It's so gross. You'll look over, there'll be like a quarter of a can of pizza sauce left, and he'll be drinking it like it's a soda pop. Ew, 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 ew. Man up, Mom. No. I mean it, Mom. Man it up. It gives me heartburn to watch you do that. Okay, Ben, do us a little fade to black because we're at the pharmacy now. Okay, everybody, I'm going to cut it off here and do a two-parter again. Love you guys. See you soon. Those two parters eat up my space. Hi, everybody. We're back. Finished our running around pretty much. All I have to do now is go pick up some iced tea and go home. And I am glad because I'm getting tired. As you can tell, Ben's drugged me all over Hex Half Acre. The sun's gone down considerably. It won't be long till it's dark. I hate it that I look out the door at 6 o'clock at night and it's pitch black out. It makes me want to go to bed early. I'm not happy about it. I am not down with it. Is that what the kids say now, Ben? He's laughing at me. I am not a hip mom. What? Say something. Quit being goofy. He's decided to be quiet. He's mad because I won't go to a Pokemon stop. Mm, no, that's not it. I'm just embarrassed for you right now. Embarrassed for me? He's drugged me to I don't know how many Pokemon places today. But he's got how many new Pokemon did you get, Ben? Damn it, roughly, I lost count. More than five? Yeah, more than five. More than ten? A little less than that. It's a lot of new Pokemon. And Pokemon Go, no less. By the way, free app. Download. Oh, it, I have to give Kroger's one thing. It was like shopping for Pokemon, not shopping for groceries today. Because seriously, every aisle had a Pokemon in it almost. Mm. Oh. oh, pretty puppy. Hi, puppy. Mom secretly wishes she was a Pokemon trainer so that she could actually catch them out of the Kroger aisles like I just did. No, but I wish I could go back and pet that puppy. He was a cute baby. Sometimes I think I'd like to get another puppy to keep Wolfie company. But, you know, that would be a really bad idea because he's... Wolfie might think lunch. No, he's so used to being the complete center of everybody's attention since Bitsy passed away. Bitsy was our little ugly dog. Oh. I'm sorry, she was not a pretty dog. She was so ugly, she was cute. She looked like Max in the How the Grinch Stole Christmas cartoon. We called her Maxine from time to time during the holiday so, season. During the holiday, she was Maxine, I'm telling you now. But um, poor little Bitsy Woo, she passed away not too long ago, just over a year ago. And since then, he's been the only pup. And he has grown to love it. He likes being the only pup. It's funny though, because last night I said something about missing Bitsy, and he turned around and gave me this big eyed look, like he hadn't thought about her in a long time. And he kind of looked around like, where is she? But it was sad, it made me sad. <sighs> we had the hardest time when she first was gone because he looked for her and looked for her and looked for her. He didn't understand that we took her away and couldn't bring her back. Well, now this is definitely a depressing subject for Vlogmas. Okay, Ben, give me a happy topic. About I'm beating you right now? Smack, smack, smack? That's not a happy smack, topic. Smack, smack, smack? It's not a and happy now, topic. And now she's beating me. I'm, if I'm going to hit you, I'm going to hit you harder than that. And now she's going to, in order to, you know, in order to not get me too agitated, I think she's going to make a dude to her. No. 
I will say one thing though that I did that's probably to the foolish. big lots. No, I did one thing though that seems kind of in retrospect like it might be a bad idea. I told y'all I colored my hair and it came out this beautiful deep dark red color that I loved. Now look, is this a deep dark red I ask you? No, it's a strawberry blonde now. Every time I wash it, it gets lighter. It's driving me bonkers. So I decided I was gonna get a darker shade of red in the hopes that it would lighten up to be the shade I had before. Well, I went to the store and I couldn't find a darker shade of red in a brand that I trusted. So I bought burgundy and deep burgundy in case I didn't like regular burgundy. And now in retrospect, I'm thinking that might be a bit dark for me. I don't know. Leave it in the comments down below. Let me know what you think. Seriously. I personally think she'll live. She'll live. I know I'll live, but we're getting into picture taking season and I'm on Vlogmas every day and I don't know if I want to look that bad. I look bad enough without making it worse because look, see guys, in case you ever wondered why you can see so much of my scalp, I have a condition called alopecia and basically it means that my immune system thinks my hair is the enemy and it fights it and I hate that it's hard that's a hard disorder for a woman to have we have so much of our self-image wrapped up in our hair believe it or not it's such a stupid thing but what are you gonna do you know it's culture it's just our culture so I'm just playing with what hair I have left and trying to enjoy it for as long as I can and I don't know how burgundy's gonna look so if you guys like I said leave a comment encourage me tell me no don't do it tell me you dyed your hair burgundy and it turned out Barney purple whatever let me know what happened <laughs> turned out Barney purple that would be funny no it wouldn't that would be that would be horrifying that would be horrifying so just let me know how or what you think and I'll use that to make my judgment and hopefully I'll make a good one. In the meantime, I guess I'll get off here and close out this vlog. Um, tomorrow, oh hush you. <laughs> tomorrow I'm going to try to hang up my background in my room. And if I do that, I'll be able to vlog from home. It's nothing fancy. I just bought two white shower curtains because basically... She's cheap. Yeah, I'm cheap. And also, it's just a little hobby, a little fun thing to do. So I don't really feel like I can invest the family's money in it. But more than that, I have personal items that I don't want to have to keep moving and putting back and moving and putting back every time I film. Therefore, I'll just cover them with a white shower curtain hung from the ceiling and we'll go from there. See, I got a brain. Sometimes I turn it on. But and most of the time she don't. Shout out to everybody who's been sending me messages. I, I really do appreciate it because it makes it a lot more fun to film. So... Love you guys, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye. <laughs>